Hi, I'm Dan Weisenberger, and this is Photosynthesis in Early Prokaryotes. Now, photosynthesis currently is the conversion of light energy and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen. However, if we go back two billion years, of, years or so, the first photosynthetic bacteria did not release oxygen into the air, but that of sulfur because the atmosphere was not rich in oxygen at all. And these bacteria did not even use visible light, but rather near, in, near infrared. Then some time later, cyanobacteria arrived or were developed through evolution. And these were the first bacteria that could release oxygen into the atmosphere. And this came at a time when atmospheric oxygen levels were very low, probably very small compared to what they are nowadays. And the rise of cyanobacteria and their ability to release oxygen into the atmosphere during photosynthesis is a key reason why we have oxygen on this earth. After cyanobacteria were formed, red and brown algae came into play uh, further along in evolution. These were very similar to cyanobacteria in that they, they also release oxygen. They're a bit more advanced. Green algae then came up next. And the problem with the, the algae families is that they could only grow in very wet environments and there was no vascular system, no way to draw water up on its own for being in land. Land plants came on as terrestrial plants in that they could convert carbon dioxide into oxygen. However, land plants did not have any developed vasculature, no root system, no way of moving water throughout the plant. And so with sunlight being a key for land plants, they could only grow so tall with their limited resources. And finally, the most advanced and what we have currently are vascular plants, which are ones that have a very deep root system. They can draw water from the earth and convert CO2 into oxygen um, as we conventionally describe it in biology. I'm Dan Weisenberger, and this is Photosynthesis in Early Prokaryotes. Thank you.